Most people have heard about this uh, woolly adelgid beetle by now, I'm sure. And it's what's attacking the eastern hemlock. And uh, the way it's identified, you will see very small white right along where this needle feeds off of the stem. And that's where most of the savory juice is for the beetle, we'll say. And, and if you were to take a very microscopic view of this, it looks like a tiny cotton ball. What you see here is evidence of the beetle, all this white on here. And this tree is very much in need of, of treatment. Seriously so, or, or it may die. So what we'll do now is we'll go to the treatment part. This, the mix, once you get it mixed up, is recommended to have so much per diameter of the tree trunk. And of course you can get the concentrate wherever online. It's uh, probably Google or whatever the uh, treatment for eastern hemlocks would be available. It's also a termiticide, you know, probably treat termites with. So that's been mixed according to the directions. For the best results, what, what you would do is pull your uh, leaf cover back a little and of course where most of the eastern hemlock grows it's around sandy soil so it's going to soak in and you just apply this around the base of the tree and then the roots will pick it up before it's straight in it doesn't splatter on the leaves themselves If you just begin pouring and you've not scraped this back, and you don't do it just in one spot, it will splatter on the leaves and then a lot of it will evaporate. So what you do when you finish that is kick a few leaves back, keep down evaporation, wait till the next rain to take it in a little better. It should be healthy and good and to our uh, appreciation and respect for 100, 200 more years maybe. But if we don't treat it and the insect kills it, it's dead in a couple of years. So, easy choice. <laughs>